Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this video, we'll talk about the growth models. And the first one that we are talking of is known as the exponential growth. Now this type of growth is seen when the resources are unlimited. And we have already discussed this point that this is not a naturally occurring process. In nature, something, some resource is definitely going to become a limiting factor and that limiting factor will regulate the growth. But in this case, we are talking about a situation where the, uh, the resources are unlimited. This type of condition is seen in case of labs. That means if you are growing a bacteria in a laboratory condition, say in a petri dish, then because we are supplying the nourishment, we can move those bacteria from a smaller petri dish to a bigger one or into a bigger jar also. So the space, nutrition, everything is going to be unlimited for those bacteria. Then in that case, the growth which is seen is known as the exponential growth. The second thing is, in this growth, one more factor which is taken into account is that the organisms are reproducing to their maximum capacity. And this is what is known as the fitness by Darwin. Darwin said survival of the fittest. So the fitness or the fit word is used for the organisms which are able to utilize their reproductive potential to the maximum. So these are the conditions. Now if we want to find out the growth increase or decrease, like how much is the growth if resources are unlimited and the fitness or that is the reproductive potential is utilized to the maximum. The population size is represented by N. And if we want to find out the increase or decrease in this population size, it can be found out by dn upon dt. t is the time period in which we want to study the population increase or decrease. Here, the birth per capita is taken as small b and death per capita is written as small d. So if we have to find out or if we make an equation, then it is going to be dn upon dt. That is, we want to find out the increase or the decrease. Then it is going to be birth per capita minus death per capita and the actual population. So this is the original population which is existing. In this time period, so it is dn upon dt. So in the given time period, how many added per capita and how many die per capita? So that and the existing population, this is going to give us the exponential growth. And if we plot this type of growth, we will get a curve in which initial growth is going to be small or slow and then because resources are unlimited it's going to grow in an exponential manner and this is known as j shaped growth curve and as the curve indicates that population is going to grow and grow and grow continuously and this is possible only because of the factor that there's nothing which is limited if we want to do a mathematical expression of this using calculus, then our equation is going to be slightly different. The equation is written as nt, that is the growth after time period t will be the original population size. That means 
the population size at that time period when we are starting that particular thing and E R T. So this is the population size after time T after time T and N0 is the initial population initial population because this is where we are starting from and we want to find out the growth E is the log value and this R is actually what Darwin was talking about the reproductive potential it is written as the natural rise in population and this is because of the reproductive potential it is also known as the intrinsic rate of natural growth so we can also write it as intrinsic rate of natural increase this is basically the fitness that means what is the reproductive potential that the organism is able to use and t is the time period in which we want to find out the change in the population size so if we just use the mathematical expression our equation is going to change because here we are using the log value and in simple way it can be write this or we can change this equation also birth per capita minus death per capita that means how many actually get added to the population so this is nothing but the r that is again the intrinsic growth so our equation can change this one can be written as dn upon dt and it will become rn because b minus d is nothing but this r that is the reproductive potential so we can do it in a simple manner or using the mathematical expression log value the graph is always going to be the j shaped such type of growth is known as exponential and the condition that we have to remember is this that the resources are unlimited and as we said in the beginning that these conditions are seen only in the laboratory condition in nature some factor some resource always becomes a limiting factor and if the resource becomes a li limiting factor then we would see another type of growth model that we will discuss in the next part.